They got a chance in hell. Uh, I think they're gonna just, uh, they'll get thrown on like a, a ridiculous amount. And Believe me, if they went to if they were in the AFC, I think they would go to the Super Bowl. It's just tough shit for them. They're in the <laughs> NFC. <laughs> they're fucked. Where it's all fucking happening right now. I think they're gonna lose in their first game. Who are they playing? Well, I mean, whoever I'm, th I'm saying, whoever wins, they're gonna play either uh, New Orleans, Detroit, or uh, Atlanta, New York Giants. Any one of those four teams, I think, will beat them. You're kind of getting rough on the Niners now. I mean, a little. I don't. I don't believe think in Atlanta could beat them. I don't Jesus. think the New York Giants can beat them. Probably no, they didn't. They fucking got beat by a few weeks ago. I think the Giants are gonna beat Atlanta, and then they're gonna go on. And well, then they'd have they'd be the low seed, right? So the, you're yeah, the this, world's biggest Giants fan. So the Saints would have to. Why do you love Tom Coughlin so much? No, Patriots. he loves Eli. He go. He said to me last week. He go. Do you think I look a little bit like Eli? Wow. Holy shit. Is that and I said, that yes, but Eli Whitney, he looked like. Because he was sitting at a cotton gin at the time. And he said he invented it, but he didn't. <laughs> That's all I know about. I realized the other day, all I know about black people is peanut butter and the cotton gin. Oh, That's all fucking racist. No, that's, all they, te that's all they teach you when you're in second and grade. You haven't fucking absorbed any No, I mean, obviously you see them, but when you're younger, that's all they teach you is the, that the, the cotton gin and peanut butter. You're an adult now, Zito. I know that. But what is with you and your racism? Yeah, so it's a Rhode Island thing, I think. I don't think it's a Rhode Island it thing. It is. It's the fucking hill. Uh-huh. It's What's that hill called? Federal hill? Yeah, Federal hill. Racism hill. It is. There's a lot of racism up in that fucking hill. Unbelievable. Now, where does this come down? When did you start that? As a kid? The racism? I, I, first of all, why? this is how racist you are. What makes you think that Eli Whitney is fucking black? Because he was pl fucking with cotton? Because I never learned that. I, I I just learned that that's what that's what they teach you in Black History Month. Oh Jesus! Look up. Can you find a picture? The man looks white to me. Eli he Whitney looks white as fucking Jesus. Is a cracker ass cracker. Fucking straight up. Now you're a fucking racist. You heard that he was fucking with cotton, so he must be black. Obviously. They, yeah. told, they taught us this during Black History Month. I remember this. It was like during the study of the. Holy shit. Oh my god. Maybe fucking Rhode black Island people is people racist. Had to pick cotton. They didn't fucking create the goddamn device to make fucking t shirts. Maybe Rhode Island is what racist. The fuck? No. All this time, you thought Eli was fucking black. Yeah. Yep. Definitely did. Trying to invent something to help out his own work day. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. I thought it was like him and George Washington Carver. Oh. I know George Washington Carver is black. He invented peanut butter. You're not getting past this Eli fucking Whitney you, thing. You're the only reason that you thought that he was black is because that he worked with cotton. Yes. Look at him. He looks like yes. a dapper English gentleman, really. I, he does. Wow. Fucking I, doing I, a comeback. <laughs> uh, Brian, you're on a fence. Brian in Rhode Island. Hey, uh, just want to let you guys know, yeah, we're all racist over here. Of course you are, because you live in Little Boston. Mm-hmm. First of all, I definitely thought, in my mind, Eli Whitney definitely looked like Frederick Douglass. You're fucking <laughs> racist. <laughs> this is racist. Oh I don't God. know how this happened. Because you're fucking fueled by racism is how this fucking happened. And it was always there. Because you're a white devil. Yeah. White and a fucking the, your devil is shit. All right, a picture of Jay-Z came up when I searched for Eli Whitney. <laughs> That's Google's racism. It ain't mine. Why is Jay Z doing? What's Jay Z doing here? I'll tell you this: that kid that he has is going to be the slowest talking kid in fucking history, <laughs> learning English from Jay Z. And sassiest. Yeah, sure. It, he'll get that from his mother. I think it's a she. They're going to name the baby after its mother's Beyonce's ass. Nice, B A. Oh God! I'm reading about Eli Whitney, Whitley now. He was he was terrible for the like. That's bad. Yeah. He, he prolonged slavery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you laughing at prolonged slavery? Yeah, My whole life, I thought races. he was like helping everyone out. Like, look, I. What's your mother teacher. do for a living? She's a teacher. Mm. Mm. She writes a fucking cake, a fucking newsletter, probably. No, Eric, you're on a fez. Hey. uh... Are there black people in Rhode Island, Tito? Uh, yes, there are some. There are. You, like, keep them, like, segregated, like, the middle houses or, like, little shacks? No, we, no, we don't like, do that. Fuckers. Enemies, damn. You fuckers. On your lawn, you know? Fuck fucks. 
What, you live on the man, fucking up at the goddamn mansion, huh? Rudy, you're on the fez. Yeah. Eli, I wanted to comment on it. Eli wouldn't think he told him he was uh, black. Well, we know he was white, but you know he stole that cotton gin idea. That wasn't his idea. I've heard that before from McCormick. Uh, I'm not sure the guy he stole it from, but he did see one of the slaves that was taking, took some uh, some twigs and, and shit like that, and he was pulling the cotton loose, and he goes, oh, aha, there's an idea there, but it wasn't his original idea to invent that cotton gin thing. So you, you've actually, the person that you're talking about, actually stole ideas. You know, this is how fucking racist you are. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Disgusting. You stole <laughs> ideas from the people he helped enslave. I was actually talking. Yeah. The thing is, I think there are a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people my age, who might, or at least people that I know, who did go to school in Rhode Island, who thought Eli Whitney was black. I was talking about this this weekend with somebody because there was a poster up that said, like, in the subway that Black History Month is coming, and this this black guy invented the stoplight, which is cool. And I was like, how come all they ever teach about black people is the cotton gin and peanut butter when you're younger? And now, turns out, he's white. You know what? I'm gonna it celebrate. doesn't turn out he's white. He's always been white. I'm going to fucking celebrate Black History Month by inviting some black guys up here to whip your fucking ass on a daily basis. No, don't do that. <laughs> Every day, all month long. <laughs> fucking Black History Month with Mark Zito. Just a fucking quick beatdown. <laughs> uh, Matt, you're on a fence. Professor Zito, I will give you a hundred dollars if you can name one black person in our history with the first name Eli. Oh God. Uh no, I don't think there are really any, which should have been a, a tip off to me. I always had the feeling though that the fucking from the song Eli's coming was a fucking black dude. I didn't think <laughs> like a white guy was coming to that kind of fucking heat that was coming his way. <laughs> George Wallace was also great for Black History Month, you know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <Yeah. laughs> and by the way, stop fucking saying that George Washington Carver invented peanut butter. He worked with the peanut. He didn't invent fucking peanut butter. Wait, seriously? He was a fucking scientist, an agriculturalist, whatever the fuck. You act like he was running a fucking stupid lunch place up in Rhode Island. <laughs> I really th he are you serious? He didn't invent peanut oh. butter. Um, Thomas, show him on a fez. Hi. If I can back up one topic, you were talking about mashups, and I agree that they're all horrible. But I found one that I think even Pepper Hicks will enjoy. It's the Mighty Pixies and Thin Lizzy. The boys are back in heaven. That's, you can find it on YouTube. This is so stupid. Just stop. It's great. It. It's this. great. You'll love it. I already, I already fucking hate it. No, it's really right, good. It, I'm gonna it, listen to it for one second. And the second I start to hate it, I'm gonna yell, "I hate Thomas!" And, all right, bye. <laughs> I prefer the original. <laughs> um, Larry, you're Fez. Yeah, hey, Ron. Yeah, Zeke just uh, said some black guy. And the stoplight. Uh, the stoplight was invented by a man named Elwood Haynes in Kokomo, Indiana, in like 1890-something. Uh, he invented, he had his own automobile company. He invented a, a special steel called Stellite. Uh, look it up on the internet. Elwood Haynes, Kokomo, Indiana. He's got a museum and everything there. These just don't have any clue. First, he said a flat guy. Or really, sir? What about guy. Garrett Augustus Morgan, inventor of the type of traffic signal that we still use today? That's what I was referring to. Well, you said he invented the stoplight. Whatever. He didn't invent the stoplight. Look it up on the internet. He invented a traffic signal. It's pretty much the same. That's pretty much what we. That's a stoplight. Face. Actually, I found John Peak Knight. Actually, you're both wrong. No, no, I'm not wrong. I thought J.P. Knight was a fucking boy band guy. 
It's 98 degrees. Um, Ryan, California, you're on the fez. Hey, uh, I just got to defend Vito because I was I was taught Eli Whitney was black also. Guess what? You're a fucking racist, too, and you're black. Chuck in Chicago, you're on the fez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most people saw like Black History Month. All Zito can manage is Black History five seconds. Unbelievable. Maybe we will have a Black History Month this fucking month to try to fucking bang the racism out of this kid. Because it's just enveloping everything. This is disgusting. <sighs> um, here's 49er Brian. You're on my face. Zito, you racist prick. You don't like the 49ers because you watched the love of your life leave you forever in San Francisco. That's why. No, I don't like the 49ers because Alex Smith cannot win a Super Bowl. You could blow me. How about that? I think it's because there's blacks on the team. Game racist. Game racist. Yeah, what about black people on those teams? Think about that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Black people on those teams. Think about that. Not racist. You're not racist, even after what we heard today. It's crazy. You are racist. Look, the cotton gin, Eli Whitney, white man, made it. Sean, you're on my face. Hey, Happy New Year, fellas. Uh, Zeke, you should know this one, too. There is a black guy named uh, Eli in our, in our history. It's uh, Denzel Washington's character in the Book of Eli. His name was Eli. Okay. Uh, character. <sighs> Why didn't you say it then, racist? Well, yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I guess you never saw that fucking movie. Well, I didn't know we, we could name fictional characters. Truthfully, I wouldn't really have known any of them either, but... And he that, that was set in the future. You know what? I want you to do something for the Interrobang. I want you to be in charge of Black Rock History Month, where you have to come up with a Black Rock History fucking moment every day. Come okay, on. should we do that in Redeem February? Your racism. Are we doing that now or in February? February, Black Fucking History Month. Okay, cool. Yeah, come on, dude. You get, you get a month to lose your racism. I will do that. The, I don't have racism, but I will <laughs> gladly, Obvious. you know, put forth information. Uh, Todd, you're on running, Fez. You doing, boys? Yeah. Hey, Fezzy. Yes. How come you're not putting the boots to Zito? Every time you fuck up, he's all over you like white on rice. You're just sitting there with your mouth shut. Come white on, on Eli Fezzy. Whitney. 2012, let's go! See you, boys. See you, pal. What are you having your little lunch? Because I'm going to need it to take a uh, pill with. I'm, I'm just going to need soon. a bite of yours. Whatever you, you got. All right. Well, we're good Something small. Going. Okay. I decided he doesn't get any. I was maybe going to give him some, but after his racism shit, no, he doesn't get anything. But UCB Fred does. Some Fred is. I haven't talked to him this year. Come on, Fred. I want to tell you a little story about Fred. Oh. I never tell you enough Fred stories. I love Fred stories. Love to hear as much as I can about UCB Fred. This is about the last day that I saw you guys. Oh, shit. Which doesn't seem like forever that we were off. It seems yeah. like two or three weeks. Especially. It seems like a month and a half. Like the Ronnie Spector day it seems like forever. <laughs> I was leaving that day. Yeah. Fred was in the hall. Yeah. Stopped me. And gave me a Christmas gift. What I would call a Christmas gift of kindness. Oh. Where he started to say nice things to me. And started to choke up. Wow. Oh, it, when I have to speak from the heart, it gets very difficult. I'm I've never had another man start to choke up when they were talking. I wasn't... I don't know if it was choking up, exactly. You went... Get, get, get. Oh. No one's ever given me the... Get. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I know, Fred. <laughs> I just want to give me the... Boop, boop. <laughs> and that was... That was my number one Christmas gift that I got. Oh. Oh, you're welcome. That's beautiful. Uh, what I got from Fez... Yeah. Well, how would you well. feel about this? Okay. And I'm not going to make a big deal about it. But if Fez gave something to you for Christmas that he would do in live reads for. Now, let me tell you something. Oh. I've worked in radio a long time. And I know when you do live reads, you get the fucking thing free. Okay. You got an Xbox 360 Connect? Yeah. 
Wow. Nice. You can use your whole body to, to yeah. as a controller. Yes. As we all know. Get everybody the in free the game. Live read. I did not get that free. I went and purchased that. What, what made you okay. think of it? Our show? What's happening? Is that really what it was? Mm -hmm. oh, I was just picking a product that I remember. <laughs> it really was. Wow. Yeah. It's, uh, it, uh, it's kind of cheap. So yeah. better or worse than last year? Oh, it's better. <laughs> because I can at least talk about it. And I, know, I can explain why it, it was horrifying. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. But I know he got it for free. So how you liking it? That was not a promo model. <laughs> um, you know, you do what you always do with one of those things. You play Christmas Day, and that's it. You know, the kids are up. Hey, look, we're all playing this. But what are you going to do? Be jumping around in your fucking living room? Much prefer the control. control. Yeah, you got Madden. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck you can do? Play fucking fuck that. That's why you're playing video games. And he gave me like the sports thing, and it's almost like. Instead of being like improvisational, it's like Dance Dance Revolution, where you got to hit the oh, same wow. things over and over. Jesus Christ. I'm like, who the fuck? Did you also get a sweet and sexy set from uh, <laughs> Pajamagram? <laughs> or free pass to porn.com? No, I'm sure his sister or his <laughs> fucking brother got that. I'm just throwing in the live read fucking tchotchkes. What's the thought that counts? Not, you know... Um, here's uh, Mark. Mark, you're on a fez. Hey, guys. How you doing? Happy New Year. Uh, is it really racism if you don't give a fuck who does what, whatever their skin color is? Where are you calling from? Canada. Yeah. It's because you don't know what races are. In Canada, I wouldn't be fucking racist either. <laughs> All right. All right. How far you live from the border? Uh, about uh, an hour, like 60 miles for you guys. 90% of Canadians live an hour away from the border. Isn't that, that strange? Is That's that bizarre. Is Get to that tree line. Fuck it. Get out there. Yeah, well, you got a whole big country. There's like, you know. Yeah, but they don't know where it ends. You ever notice that? Like, you ever see a map of Canada? It's yeah, just like it breaks away into nothingness. <laughs> well, Alaska's up there. They don't have a top. No. Like, they don't even watch the top of their borders. They're like, whatever. Anybody makes it up there is... Badass, I guess. <laughs> or an Inuit, right? That's their, they're like Native American. Yeah. Mm. Uh, here's Rob, Staten Island. Hey, Zito, what's the full name of Rhode Island? Don't leave out the second half. This, uh, Rhode, I uh, Rhode Island uh, in, the, in the state of Providence Plantations, I believe. Oh, and they, wow. Oh, come oh, on. Connecting they, all the and they also, uh, they had a, all makes sense now. They had a vote on it, I believe, last election cycle. Like, hey, we could take that out and just be Rhode Island. <laughs> and they voted. They said, no, keep it. Wow. Why exactly. wouldn't that? That's racism right there. It is. It's fucking racist. I mean, you would think that'd be a slam dunk. You know what, guys? Here's the time where we can stop being racist. And they said, no, we have to preserve our racism. Who's going to vote on the size of being racist? <laughs> Me. Just, you just hear one eye just fucking through the whole state. Apparently a lot of people. <laughs> secret ballot. They can get away with it. It's not secret anymore. By the way, 78% of the state voted against the name change. Sure wow. Did. Yeah. It's a fucking racist Just state. the Spanish and fucking blacks <laughs> vote for it. Can we just feel fucking okay in our own state? Mm-mm. Got a little fucking racist up there. Disgusting. He was trying to make themselves feel better, like, oh, we didn't have slavery, you know. We we were on the side of the North. No, it's still mm. racist. It's still racist, you're right. It's fucking Plantation City up there. Yeah, the fuck. <laughs> uh, Craig, you're on my Hey, uh, how's it going, guys? I was going to say, if no one else going to ask how Fezzy Christmas went, was it as fun as everyone probably expected it was going to be? Well, why do you got to bring that up? You know, then you're going to be like, well, why don't you start talking about anything because it's by yourself? You struggling coming back in, Fez? Yeah, uh, I didn't mean to, but I, I apparently am. What happened? It was just, I mean, Christmas was just kind of there. I don't think I actually ever got the Christmas spirit. It was, it seemed like it was, we did things that we normally do, and but it just seemed, okay, now what do we do? 
Apparently my father was really the guy who was Mr. Christmas in our house. Mm -hmm. Candy cane that stirs the drink. Ouch. Come on, you know he lost his dad this Racism, year. Racism, meanness, that's what Royal Allen stands for. You know that the guy's fucking hurt, then you gotta say that to Candy Cane that stirs the drink. The only thing different was going out to his grave on Christmas Day. Thanks, Zeets. Wow. Did you put a live read out there? No, I put a uh, poinsettia plant there. Oh, where'd you get that free from? Profiles that <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Zeets just did. See what Zeets just did? Mm hmm. The racist, yes. Why'd you uh, go out there? Why'd you go to his grave on Christmas? To feel better? Well, it just felt like to... Since everything just seemed so oft without him, it was the only way I could think of to include him. Did anybody go with you? No, I just went by myself. Oh, good son. Mm. Well, none of you guys went? I went. Yeah, I was there. Where were you guys? Yeah. Um, you know, just Glad you enjoyed your Christmas. I went out and visited Dad. Rob, you're on Hey, Hey, uh, speaking of retards, does anyone else find it odd that a 60-year-old shut-in couldn't find the Christmas spirit? You know, see, this is the thing. This yeah. is why I didn't want Fez to go in and tell his true story, because then he would be judged on it. And if I was Fez, I would have came at it on a whole different angle. I would have had a crazy story of what I did. I would have fucking, you know, mopped it up. He opens his heart to you people, and he tells you how dull things are going on, and you still got to fuck with them. Why? Why fuck with them? Josh, I'm running Fez. Yeah, Fez, I'm not judging, but that bit you did last time with your grandmother, did you bring a shovel to the, to the cemetery this year also? No, because your dad was um, is in ashes, right? Yeah, cremated, and then his ashes was uh, were interred into the ground. I mean, the most you could do is maybe make some, like, clay thing out of him. Or... What happened to G-Baby? Oh, G-Baby, G-Baby's just got here. G-Baby's here. He's good to go. He's in the when boat. did he get here? Well, about 10 minutes ago. So he's 20 minutes late. Oh, I didn't realize what time it was. Yeah. Let me see. Where's he at? He's in the booth. How long has he been in that booth? Tell me the truth. I've been waiting for the fucking guy the whole time. Oh. <laughs> Maybe 20 minutes then? I think he was on time. <laughs> now I'm fucking pissed off. <laughs> Now, is he only here because he's going to another one of his Broadway plays, or is he... I don't believe he has a play set up. I know he loves The Great White Way. I believe that's what it's called. Ooh, so does fucking Zito. I know. He likes The Great White anything, you fucking... Seriously. I'm a great company. I'm sorry to... I didn't know. I really thought he did. Don't say you're sorry to me. Say you're sorry to the African-American I'm people. sorry to the African-American community. You, you, you fucking enslaved through... Not just through chains, but through your mind. I really thought he was black. And here I got fucking Fred sitting here, a son of Robert E. Lee, or whatever you call yourself down there. Yeah, sons of the Confederate. <laughs> yeah, because what day do you have down there in Virginia the same day as Martin Luther King Day? You also have... God, Lee Jackson Day. So, or something fucking ridiculous. Just, <laughs> it's so, just so, so fucking racist. Like, we need our own day. It's going to yeah, be right. on Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be Lee Jackson Day celebrating... What's he famous for? Killed a bunch of black people. Fucking racism. States' rights to kill black people. That's what it was. Um, uh, we're going to break here and get G-Baby into the fucking mix.